my name is Alexa Life, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can combine distroless uh, Docker images and native image to produce smaller Docker images for your Java applications. Let's take a look at the sample application and see how you can do this. We have here a simple Micronet application which produces prime numbers for us. So if we do the cut for the controller, you can see that it responds to the get request and it just compute the prime numbers simulating our business logic. And you can build this application and it can run this for you. So I will do Java minus jar, uh, build libs, primes web, uh, all jar, and it will start and it will bind to the port. And I can see, you can see that I can curl uh, this application and it will respond to me with random numbers under a hundred. So this is our business logic. Now I can build the native image out of this application very easily by invoking the task. Uh, uh, I of course need to invoke the task Gradle native image. But if we want to make use of the distroless Docker images, we need to specify one command line option. So we're going to change the build Gradle script to include the common and option uh, that we need for the distroless, right? Distroless, uh, let's do it at the very end and we put the configuration. So we configure the native image build plugin and we add the argument static executable with dynamic libc. Uh, we're gonna then invoke the gradle w native image build command and it will take us uh, a moment to build actual native image. It's up to date. I've been, I've just pre-built it before, but what we configure is we built the executable and linked all the libraries in it, except the libc, which should be provided by the operating system. Now we're going to use the distroless Docker images uh, and build the, uh, the Docker file for that, right? So the Docker file specification is very simple. We just use the from distroless base and you copy of the application into it. If you don't know what distroless is, distroless is the small Docker images provided by the Google Container Tools team. And they don't include the operating system, but they only include the actual, uh, the minimal amount of things that are necessary to run your applications. So for some statically linked executables, those just certificates and some uh, temp directory. But for other executables that do require libc, they also provide, there is a base distroless image that provides glibc and SSL libraries. So our executable that we created here, if we look at, uh, at it, LD, LDD, uh, build native image application, application, it linked, it is linked to uh, libc, so it will require libc. So the base distroless image will provide that. So now we just need to build the Docker file that we have. So we build and say that this is the Docker file and we tag it with the prime swap distroless. Uh, it downloads, it copies the file. Our application is standalone, so it doesn't require anything else there. And our image is built. We can look at it with the dive utility to explore what's in the image. And you can see that there are two layers, which are the base distroless layers. Uh, and then we just add the, our application. And so the total image size is less than hundred megabytes and the image efficiency score is hundred percent. And now of course we can run this image and it will run in a very similar fashion as we did before. So we can run, uh, the Docker image. We, uh, open, expose the port, we run it the server starts as quickly as normally native image starts. And then we can do also the timings and we can see that we get the correct result. So this is how you build the native image and make use of the distroless Docker images to create smaller uh, packages that you have that are easier to deploy to through the network. Uh, and they don't contain the operating system. So that can bring additional uh, bonus points for security. Uh, because the code that is not there cannot be exploited. 
or so some expert, experts think. Uh, this is it. If you want to learn something more about RALVM in particular, please leave a comment below. And this is it for today.